June 3rd, 1771, Monday. I was dining at Cheney's of the Western in the county of Hampshire. An old man, very old, came in and after a lengthy conversation with a very old landlady, she said, Are you not the man who called here 17 years ago and was entrusted with a jill of West India rum? Yes. Hadn't you your money, says he? No, says she. Well, I sent it by a Brimfield man within a fortnight after. I'll ask him about it. I had the rum. I was driving down a drove of hogs. My two boys were with me. I lost them both in 1759. One at Crown Point, the other near Albany. They drank it with me. Well, I'm glad you mentioned it. I shall pay you now. The money is justly your due. How much? She replies, it is two shillings, four pence. I, interposing for curiosity, said, well, that will hardly do justice, for the interest is as much as the principal. The debt is now four shillings, eight pence, says the old man. I am a poor man. The landlady won't charge me interest. I was amused at the quick wit and tenacious memory of the very old landlady and the honesty of the very old man. But it seems to me in the anecdote, these are but two pennies.